everyone, so today I've got a really quick tip for you on how to wear these MUA Luxe London liquid lipsticks. <laughs> that was a mouthful. But I've got three here and these are three of my favourite shades. This is Kiki, it's a bright purple. This is Criminal, a bright pink. And this is Atomic, which is a very, very bright orange. So these are the three that I have. Now I know from talking to a lot of people that so many people have problems with these. They're great because they're liquid lipsticks and they're so popular at the moment, so many different brands are doing them. And they also dry matte, which is a really good thing because I personally, when I'm wearing a bold lip, prefer a matte shade because otherwise I find that there's just too much movement and I don't want to have to keep checking in a mirror to see if it's transferred onto my teeth or around my mouth or it's just not very nice. So, um, so they are really good in what they claim to do, however the only problem with them is that once you've had them on for a period of time, they start to flake and they start to flake, they start to crack on the lips and they just become really bitty and I think that's probably the best way that I can explain it. So I've come up with a really good way of wearing these, especially if you already own these. Um, obviously if you have any dupes for these or anything that you find works better, obviously don't go out and buy these, but if you already have these, then I've got a really good way that you can wear them without them cracking and flaking. So at the moment, I just have kooky on my lips. I haven't lined my lips or anything like that. I've literally just applied it straight from the tube. I've just put it on my lips and I can feel that it's already dry because you can really sort of almost feel that tugging sensation on your lips as it's starting to dry. And it looks pretty matte. So I know that within maybe about 20 minutes or so this is going to start to crack and flake especially at the center of my lips because obviously that's the first part where lipstick normally starts to fade especially if you're having a drink or having something to eat or just licking your lips <laughs> so what i do is i found that mac do a very similar lipstick to this and it's called heroin this is the shade of heroin and this is kooky i'm not sure if you'll be able to tell with them side by side. I've only done one layer of the Kooky, but you can apply heroin over the top um, because it's exactly the same color. In fact, this is a very, very good deep for heroin, but I actually prefer my lipstick to be a little bit lighter than this. I think this is quite a dark color for me, and I generally prefer a paler shade. But like I said, if this is a color that you like, which I'm sure it would be because you obviously bought it, um, I would wear this and I normally either pat it onto the centre of my lips or once it's dry I just apply it as normal. Now by putting a normal good quality lipstick over the top of it I find that it almost acts as a sealant so it seals the MUA lipstick and that is very very long lasting. Um, I normally find that if I go out for dinner or if I go out for drinks the MUA won't have budged. All I need to top up is the MAC that I've put on top of it. I like to wear up the amp over the top. Now, this is also a MAC lipstick. I've just depotted it. And I just take my lip brush and I just put it into my lipstick and I start to apply it. You can also create an ombre lip with this because like I said, when it starts to flake, it will start to flake from the center. So you can take the lighter shade and just apply it to the middle of your lips. Now, creating a good ombre lip is quite difficult because the last thing that you want to do is for you to look like you haven't changed your makeup since the 80s and you still wear a really dark lip liner with a paler shade of lipstick. So it really requires quite a bit of blending. So I've just smudged it in with my fingers a little bit and it's not the best ombre lip because I, I don't really want to put heroin around the outside to show you because I want to show you how you can actually wear this MUA lipstick. If you want to see a tutorial on how to do a good ombre lip, then just leave me a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to create a video on that. But this is one way of wearing it and the other way is obviously just to fill in your whole lip, um, which will change the colour entirely, but it will make your lipstick very, very long lasting. And there we go. I know that this has completely changed the colour of the lipstick but this is how i like to wear my lipstick just to point out the up the amp isn't a matte lipstick so my lips do have a slight sheen to them i believe it's an amplified lipstick but i'm not sure i've literally just written the name down on my palette so 
Um, I think it is an amplifier because it's got a slight sheen, but it is quite long lasting. However, by doing it this way, you're ensuring that your lipstick lasts for a very long time. Now, I don't want to show you, you know, the same thing over and over again. So just for these two, Criminal and Atomic, all you need to do is just find a lipstick that's a very good match to this. Um, and I would just say, make sure that it's a good quality lipstick. If you haven't tested it out before, or if you think it's not that great, then the last thing that you want to do is use a liquid lipstick that flakes with another lip, lip, lipstick over the top that also flakes. That's not really gonna give you a good finish. So I'm gonna quickly just show you some swatches on the back of my hand. Um, for Atomic, like I said, it's a bright orange. Now, I have um, a MAC lipstick called Neon Orange. I believe that that was limited edition. Um, I'm not too sure actually, I haven't seen it for a while, but that's a very good match. However, if you don't have Neon Orange, um, you can also use Mirage by MAC, which is part of their classic collection, so I know that that's always available. So this swatch in the middle is Atomic. On the left of that is Neon Orange, which like I said is a very good match, and on the right of that is Mirage. So these are quite good dupes. Um, I wouldn't really call them dupes actually, they're more expensive so that's not the right word. Now for Criminal, Criminal is almost a neon pink. So what I like to wear with that is another MAC lipstick which is part of I believe their classics collection and this is Candy Yum Yum. That's the MUA, that's uh, Criminal and that's Candy Yum Yum. You can do this with any of the shades. All you need to remember is just to find a lipstick, a good quality one, that's a close enough match. Just use it as a base almost. So there we go. That's my tip on how to wear these MUA Lux London liquid lipsticks. <laughs> and I hope you found that helpful. If you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. It means so much to me. And if you've experienced any of the same problems with these lipsticks, then please leave me a comment below. I'd like to know that I'm not the only one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!